Coca-Cola meets Dr. King. When I think about our city of Atlanta, I think it's the combination of those two things. Somewhere in the middle of that, I think our city finds this identity where purpose interacts with innovation. It's the place, this little city in the South, that some of the world doesn't give all the respect it should have. It's the place that all their cities are different because of it. That brings me life. That brings me pride in this place that I sit in. Because I love ideas. But I want my life to have meaning. I want it to have purpose. Plywood Presents began 10 years ago. Welcome to Plywood Presents. It's like all these people coming together that might not know each other, but have this similar care. They want things to be better in the world. They want their lives to have significance, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to make that a reality. Then all of a sudden they sit next to each other, complete strangers, and become friends. You're in the crowd and you're meeting with new people over the next two days and you never know what collaborative thing could happen. I think when I think back to that first year, there's so many people that have relationships today that have defined who they are. And then there's these projects that, that have come out of that existence and that care and that being. Welcome to Plywood Presents. But honestly, every year I could tell you one or two talks that um, change the way that I see the world. It imprinted me in that way. The first person that comes to mind um, is a person that's going to be sharing this year again that we invited back was Liz Fork and Bohannon. I am the founder of Seiko Designs. At 22, I graduated from university with a, a degree in journalism. I moved to Uganda in East Africa on my own because I wanted to learn more about the reality of women and girls living in extreme poverty. So she gets on stage and her whole talk was to men about how they should be feminist. I believe that there are a lot of really good men in this audience. And for any man who feels like they've never been invited into the conversation about gender inequality, mark this as a significant moment in your story. And it was the first time that a woman encouraged me um, to be a feminist. And I, it actually gave language to something that I actually believe. Listen. Whether you choose to acknowledge it or not, you are writing the story. You get to be part of the decision. So stand up, accept the challenge, and be a part of creating a legacy. Thank you. It's kind of crazy to think that we had some, some contribution in that story. I love introducing a person that is doing something significant that you don't know about yet. Um, and I remember early on, it was like, what if we could actually be known for that? What's happened ever since is um, we've had over 400 projects we've worked with. At the end of the day, everyone was leaving and they said, what, what's next? And I was like, I remember looking at Andre, my wife, and we we're like, what's next? This was it. Like, this was the plan. We did what we said we were going to do. And they all wanted more, and that was really the start of not just this event, but this entire community. Um, and so from then it's just grown and grown. Like, is big good? At times it can be, but sometimes we need to go back to that original design of people meeting people. And so we're trying to do that in a new environment, in a new space. ATL Ideas, it's a festival of all things good. It's people in all different spaces with purpose and passion coming together to um, enhance one another's projects. And this year it's going to be a little bit different. It, everyone's not going to see every speaker. There's going to be four different stages. There's going to be four multiple different learning environments. And so I'm excited to get away from a big stage and to get into smaller applicable conversations. And I want to invite you to be a part of that with us. I want you to add your voice, I want you to add your story, I want you to add your project, wherever it comes from, whatever it's gonna do, whoever it's helping, like that's what makes this powerful. It's not because of me as a leader, it's because of the collective values of the people in the room. When those things are shared, crazy stuff happens.